Today, we're delving into the riveting tale of Epictetus, a historical powerhouse from over 2,000 years ago. Brace yourselves for a captivating journey filled with triumph over adversity. I've got some fascinating nuggets to spice things up, so stick around. Now, picture this. Epictetus kicks off his journey as a mere slave, denied even the luxury of a proper name. Epictetus, they called him, meaning the acquired one. Talk about a rocky start, his early days. A brutal saga of torture and having his hard-earned gains callously swiped, akin to a horse ridden into the ground and left for dust. But here's the kicker. Despite facing the unfair blow of an undeserved exile, Epictetus doesn't just survive, he conquers. How, you ask? It all boils down to his unique perspective on life, the kind that turns challenges into stepping stones. We're about to unpack Epictetus's secret formula, his philosophy that transforms his life from chaos to conquest. Life, according to him, is a blend of a podium and a prison. And get this, he claims you can retain your freedom of choice in both scenarios. Hold on tight, because here's the twist. Epictetus drops some wisdom bombs about events having two handles, one you can carry and another you can flat out ignore. Translation, life might throw curveballs, but you get to choose how to knock them out of the park. And here's the kicker. While grinding away in Nero's high-stakes court surrounded by power-hungry big shots, Epictetus has an epiphany. He discovers a freedom within himself that these high rollers can only dream of. It's like he's got the ultimate life hacks, and we're here to spill the beans. Before we unravel this philosophical roller coaster, hit that subscribe button. We're building a community, and you don't want to miss out. Now let's dive into the epic narrative of Epictetus, where destinies are shaped and life's challenges are turned into triumphs. Stay tuned. Epictetus, who emerged from the annals of history over two millennia ago in Hierapolis, faced a multitude of challenges from the very outset of his life. Born into slavery, he was denied even the basic privilege of a proper name, being labeled as Epictetus, meaning the acquired one. His early years were marked by the harsh reality of torture, with the fruits of his labor being callously stolen. His physical being bore the brunt of abuse, likened to a horse ridden into the ground and subsequently put down. As if these tribulations weren't enough, Epictetus endured further injustice through an undeserved exile. Throughout his existence, he encountered unimaginable adversity and difficulty. However, in the face of such seemingly insurmountable odds, he emerged triumphant. What set Epictetus apart was his remarkable perspective on life. Instead of succumbing to a narrative of perpetual horrors and tragedies, Epictetus chose to view his existence as an intricate tapestry of endless opportunities. He eloquently likened life to a podium and a prison, with one high and the other low. Yet, in both places, he asserted that one's freedom of choice could be maintained if desired. Epictetus, a philosopher of great insight, proclaimed that every event possesses two handles, one by which it can be carried, and another by which it can be ignored. In the face of adversity, he deliberately focused on what lay within his control, his opinions, values, wants, and sense of self. The rest, the external circumstances and events beyond his influence, were consciously disregarded. Through this deliberate mindset, Epictetus not only navigated the challenges of his era, but triumphed over them. His life serves as a testament to the transformative power of choosing one's perspective and focusing on the aspects of life that can be molded and shaped, irrespective of the external circumstances that may seek to dictate otherwise. As Epictetus observed the formidable figures within Nero's court, where he toiled, a realization dawned upon him. Despite his status as a slave, 
he found a peculiar freedom within himself that surpassed the liberty of many in the court. These influential men and women were bound by their insatiable cravings for power, unbridled ambition, fleeting pleasures, and the constant pursuit of attention. Their minds, perpetually wandering, easily succumbed to distraction, and they carried the burden of minor offenses and nursed petty grudges. Their lives were marred by discontent. In his quest for emancipation, Epictetus sought enlightenment under the tutelage of the esteemed Stoic teacher, Musonius Rufus. Through this intellectual journey, he not only gained his freedom, but evolved into a mentor for Rome's brightest minds, including the eventual Emperor Hadrian. The ripples of his philosophical insights reached even Marcus Aurelius, illustrating how a man of seemingly limited influence could profoundly shape the thoughts of the most powerful individuals on a global scale. Epictetus imparts more than just a lesson in endurance and resilience. His teachings extend to the art of crafting a fulfilling life in any circumstance, emphasizing that external conditions do not define a person but rather unveil their true character. Drawing inspiration from Stoic principles, he compares life to a theatrical performance, with each individual playing their role with excellence and learning to relinquish control over the elements beyond their influence. The essence of Epictetus's wisdom lies not only in overcoming challenges, but in embracing a mindset that empowers one to navigate life's complexities with grace and purpose. His legacy serves as a testament to the profound impact that an individual, armed with resilience and a philosophical compass, can have on the course of history, influencing even the most formidable figures of their time. Life presents us with circumstances beyond our control, such as where we're born, our parents, and how others treat us. Despite these external factors, our true agency lies in what we make of the resources at our disposal. While a significant portion of life remains unpredictable, it's essential to recognize that we possess more influence than we often realize. Through a combination of determination and skill, we have the capacity to shape our destiny. It's not about having complete control, but rather molding our path. This involves making the most of our current situation and playing our roles to the best of our abilities. If you've enjoyed diving into the wisdom of Epictetus and the art of shaping your destiny, make sure to hit that like button below. If these timeless lessons resonated with you, don't forget to subscribe for more engaging content.